What's up guys and welcome back to the garage. Today we are showing you two simple ways you can test the accuracy of your torque wrench. This is a... Uh, you can get it pretty close. Of course there are tools for this but you would also need to test those tools as well sometimes. It would be good to have multiple torque wrenches because the torque wrench is most accurate around its middle point. For example one for heavier stuff and one for lighter stuff. Our torque wrench is from Biltema. It's a basic torque wrench, 20 to 210 newtons. And uh, from the factory, it came with a calibration report that shows uh, the actual readings of the torque wrench. So now I'll briefly show you the two ways. The first way, by the way, for both of these, it should be good to have a vise. You attach the torque wrench like this, and then with the weight, whatever, attach it to the handle and what reading it clicks at, test with that. And then the other one is to attach it horizontally and with a fish scale, with a luggage scale, whatever, pull it and test whatever reading it clicks at. But before that, a little bit of physics theory. The physics theory might seem a little intimidating to some, but no reason to panic. We're using two simple equations to calculate the torque and the force. The torque is uh, at this point the rotational force. The R is the distance between these two points. And we've measured this point to be 42 centimeters from the center of the head and force is the amount of force applied to this point and with uh, method number one we've calculated that with these uh, with the mass of the water container we have being 10.26 kilograms that we need to turn the torque wrench up to 42.3 newton meters and then it should just about click. Then we know that the torque wrench is calibrated correctly. With method number two, the only things we need is the length of the, our torque wrench from the head to the measuring point, and we need a scale, and then we will uh, calculate the torque by multiplying the force caused by this with the length of the torque wrench. And then we will compare the reading what the torque wrench is set to with the amount of torque we get from our calculations to see how far off or how accurate the torque wrench is. If we wanted to be super accurate, we would need to measure the weight of this uh, torque wrench as well in our calculations, but we didn't do that, no big deal. So our weight, we have a 10 liter canister of water and we've measured the water and the canister is 10.26 kilograms. And then we're going to lift it with the rope to 42 centimeters on this line and see if the torque wrench clicks. As you noticed, uh, with 42 Newton meters, it needed a little push with the finger, but now we've lowered it down to 40 Newton meters, and we'll see if it clicks with just the weight of the water. So, as you saw, the results are quite close to what we expected. They are accurate enough for us. It would be good to test, for example, with the 100 Newton meters, 
but with this method we won't do it now. Now for method number two, we're using this fish scale. Uh, we attach it to our torque wrench at the measured point and it's very important to keep a 90 degree angle here so there's no error in the measurements. First, we do three measurements with 42 newton meters, and then we do three measurements with 82 newton meters of torque. And then we will calculate it and see how the results are. So, we got the results and did the calculations. Here's the reading on the torque wrench, the reading on the scale in kilograms, which is put here. 9.81, uh, the gravitational acceleration on the Earth. And here's 0 0.42 meters, which is the length of the torque wrench. And this is our calculation results. And comparing these to the reading on the torque wrench, it is inside the marginal, so if it's something should be 80 to 90 newton meters, we just set the torque wrench to 85 and we are close enough. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, remember to subscribe and hit the bell and see you soon.